Hello and welcome to the Jetline Marvel. We'll talk about two combat helicopters in this video. One is made of India's LCH, while the other is made of Turkish T-129 ATAK. The LCH is a twin-engine helicopter developed by the state-owned Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL. It weighs between 5 and 8 tons. It is claimed as the world's only attack helicopter capable of taking off and landing at heights of up to 21,300 feet while carrying a large payload. The T-129 ATAK is a multi-role, all-weather assault helicopter with two engines and tandem seats based on the Augusta A-129 Mangusta chassis. Turkish Aerospace Industries collaborated with Augusta Westland to create the T-129. The helicopter is developed for sophisticated assault and reconnaissance missions in both day and night settings in hot and high regions with rugged terrain. Let's talk about the specifications for both the helicopter. Two crew members are on board the T-129 aircraft and the LCH. T-129 is 47 feet 8 inches long, while the LCH is 51.1 feet long. The T-129 has a maximum takeoff weight of 5,056 kilograms, whereas the LCH has a maximum takeoff weight of 5,800 kilograms. The LHTEC turboshaft powers the T-129, whereas the HAL Turbo Mika Shakti 1H1 turbo shaft powers the LCH. The T-129 engine generates 1,014 kilowatts of electricity, while the LCH generates 1,032 kilowatts. The T-129 has a top speed of roughly 281 kilometers per hour whereas the LCH has a top speed of 268 km per hour, never exceeding 330 km per hour. The T-129 has a range of 537 km, and the LCH has a range of 550 km. The T-129 has a flight endurance of up to 3 hours, while the LCH has a flight endurance of 3.10 hours. T-129 has a ceiling range of 15,000 feet, whereas LCH has a range of 21,300 feet. T-129 climbs at a rate of 13.26 meters per second, whereas the LCH climbs at 12 meters per second. T-129 has survival and safety to the maximum. State-of-the-art integrated aircraft survivability equipment, such as an advanced electronic warfare processor, radar warning receiver, laser warning system, missile warning system, and advanced self-protection using enhanced chaff and flare countermeasures dispensing system, radar and IR jamming capability, maximizes battlefield survivability. The LCH was intended to address the requirements of the Indian Air Force for a dedicated light helicopter for combat operations. The LCH has a small fuselage and a tandem configuration with the pilot and co-pilot or gunner, as well as a number of stealth characteristics, armor protection, night assault capability, and crash-capable landing gear for improved survivability. Let's talk about the weapons that each helicopter carries. The T-129 is equipped with a single M197 three-barrel rotary gun. It contains four hard points that can be used to carry a variety of weapons. It can carry up to four unguided rocket pods, such as the MKE, FEAR, Hydra-70, and CRV-7. Anti-tank guided missiles such as the UMTAS and LUMTAS. 16 guided missiles were deployed against targets that were lightly armored or unarmored. Short-range air-to-air missiles and 8 air-to-air stringers, other drop tanks weighing up to 294 kilograms. Let us discuss the LCH armament package. 
It is armed with a single 20mm M621 cannon. It has four hard points and can carry a combination of four rocket pods for a total of 12 FZ-275. It has four Mistral air-to-air -air missiles and four anti-tank guided Dhruv Astra missiles. It is capable of carrying a variety of explosives, including cluster munitions, unguided bombs, and grenade launchers. The Hunter Casca Integrated Control System has been exclusively created for the T-129 ATAK helicopter. With its excellent tracking accuracy, the system enables the automatic alignment of target detection and weapon systems to the pilot's line of sight. Asselfleur 300T, a specialized electro-optical FLIR system, is also installed on the helicopter. Many of the LCH's technical elements were inherited from one of HAL's previous indigenous rotorcraft Druve. The rotorcraft's unique features include a small fuselage, crash-worthy tricycle landing gear, crash-worthy self-sealing fuel tanks, armor protection, and a low visible profile. These design components are said to have resulted in a rotorcraft that is reasonably lethal, agile, and survivable. The LCH has an integrated data link that allows it to participate in network-centric operations by allowing mission data to be transferred to other platforms, including both airborne and ground-based elements. It is claimed that this networking capability will facilitate operational collaboration and force multiplication practices. The T-129 attack helicopter first flew in 2009 and was introduced in 2014. Turkey has produced 78 helicopters as of 2021. It is mostly utilized by the Turkish Army and the Philippine Air Force. The LCH assault helicopter flew for the first time in 2010 and it is introduced in 2021. India has so far produced eight helicopters. It is primarily employed by the Indian Air Force. In the comments box, let us know what you think about both assault helicopters. Please tell us about your favorite. Thank you.